Four people, including the pilot, died as a result of the crash of the Robinson R-66 helicopter in the Amur region of Russia, according to preliminary data, the incident took place on the morning of June 20. It is unclear what caused the crash. Information on the number of victims is being clarified, the Eastern Interregional Investigation Department of the Transport Investigative Committee said. The helicopter took off from a timber processing plant to an area near the Dzelchula River in Amur Oblast. The aircraft did not arrive at the destination and an emergency radio alert was sent out soon after, pointing to the helicopter's crash site. Russian authorities launched an investigation into possible air traffic violations resulting in the death of two or more people through negligence. The pilot and the passengers were all found dead after more than a day of search. Currently, experts are working to determine the causes of the incident. Amur Oblast lies in Russia's far east on the border with China, over 5,000 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. There have been several cases of Russian helicopters and planes crashing during the full-scale war, sometimes resulting in fatalities. Russia's aviation industry took a heavy hit as a result of Western sanctions, often lacking the necessary components to maintain the aircraft. Russia has transferred to Ukraine around 80% its military forces based near the Finnish border, Norwegian broadcaster Eel reported. Almost all of the Russian ground forces stationed in close proximity to Finland are now in Ukraine with around 80% of the equipment and soldiers already transferred to the war in Ukraine, Eel reported, with reference to an anonymous high-ranking Finnish military intelligence source. Thus, Russian ground force garrisons and military bases near the Finnish border remain largely empty amid Russia's claims that it is increasing its presence on the northern border to contain the Scandinavian countries. Eel shared satellite images of weapons and stocks vanishing from the depot in Petroskoy. The disappearance of the troops on the Ukrainian war front is only partially visible in the satellite images. EEL has acquired recent satellite images of all the Russian positions and garrisons in the vicinity that are significant for Finland. The biggest single change has been found at the Petroskoy Military Equipment Depot, where a new equipment depot was set up back in May, the publication stated. According to the source, there is some variation in the strength of the bases. In some garrisons there are more than a fifth of soldiers left, in others less. In addition, the amounts vary from season to season. Sometimes there are new training batches, which means the number of personnel varies depending on the training situation. The number of military equipment also fluctuates, the publication added. The United States will not deliver Patriot Air Defense System missiles to Switzerland on schedule. Instead, Ukraine will receive them first, as ensuring the Ukrainian armed forces are equipped with necessary weapons is currently a priority for the United States, Blick reports. In the fall of 2023, Switzerland placed an order with the United States for PAC-3 MSE missiles for its Patriot Air Defense Systems, totaling 300 million Swiss francs, approximately $340 million. Initially, the guided PAC-3 MSE missiles were expected to be delivered to the Swiss Army between 2030 and 2031. However, the delivery of these missiles will be postponed due to a decision by the US government, likely preventing them from occurring within the planned timeline. According to reports, the contract included an option allowing Washington to deviate from agreed terms if there were extraordinary or compelling reasons, particularly if it impacts U.S. national security interests. The current justification provided by the U.S. is related to the war in Ukraine. This information has been confirmed by Switzerland's Federal Office for Defense Procurement. Switzerland once again needs an independent and robust defense industry, as well as diversification of procurement among manufacturers and countries, emphasized the agency. 
It is expected that the US will officially announce its decision next week, on Tuesday. There is currently no information available regarding the new delivery schedule. On June 7, during a meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in France, American leader Joe Biden announced the allocation of a new package of military assistance to Ukraine. This includes arms totaling $225 million, such as rockets, ammunition for HIMARS, howitzers and armored personnel carriers, artillery shells, and other weapons.